this 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 was part of a button on my coat that got broken inside here this dude is not very gentle <laughs> Jesus, can we focus and not make me look so white? Oh my Jesus. Hi, good morning, good whatever time you're watching this. I'm doing my laundry today and I thought I shouldn't procrastinate any further. Even though I look the way I do and shout out to this one who wants to ruin my perfect skin. Anyway. Yeah, so I thought I would answer some of the questions you guys left in the first video I did about this washing machine. If you've not watched the first video, the video is called washing machine review, how to use the front loading machine, uh, all those things. Uh, I posted it seven months ago, jeez. Yeah, and I'm going to link, link it somewhere so that you can easily access it if you want it. I had really just made the video because i when i was looking to buy a machine i didn't know which one would be good for me and i felt that if i make the video my hand is shaking so bad <laughs> if i make the video you guys any any of you who are in the market for a new machine might be able to benefit from that video and i hope you did it looks like you did so let's answer your questions <laughs> loving the lesson you forgot to say there is a specific detergent for washing machines not the usual ones we use in hand washing well i had assumed that that would be uh something that you already knew if you're buying a washing mas washing machine or if you already have one like where well, but yeah that's the truth i'm currently using a liquid gel liquid gel is there a powder gel liquid gel i might put it on the screen or not give them free promo i learned that you can remove that part for the soap and the fabric softener you can remove it and clean it like if you because for some time i used the powder detergent for washing machines and it was spilling over into the the compartment or the like the place for fabric softener so i had to when i learned that you can remove it and wash it i was very very excited so yeah you can remove it was looking for the simplest connection installation in a rented space your video has met my expectations you're welcome jessica what i would advise is you see where i have connected it to the tap in the on the kitchen sink I would say have have a, a tap like a control for it don't just leave it the way mine is because sometimes if I do a cycle like I do maybe a rinsing cycle gosh, oof, let me put this on a tripod <laughs> I was saying that when I do a cycle that I don't do to completion like say I was doing a rinsing cycle and then maybe steam my pote or i'm like you know what that's enough that's enough <laughs> and i decide to remove the clothes and the machine allows me because i still have not yet figured out how you can like about mission mid cycle uh whenever that happens i find that i will remove my clothes and the drum is dry there is no water and then i close the the door and like three days later or a couple however many days later that i'm checking the drum it is full of water it's full of water so i would say have a tap so that when you're done using the machine you just turn off the thing and you know that there is no water that is coming into your drum that's the one thing i would change about my current the way it's set up the way it's installed i have a similar one is there a duvet wash sub program under the main program and i had seen another question asking about jeans how do you know how to set it to wash jeans to wash um t-shirts like different kinds of fabric yeah I don't think there's a sub program for that or if there is I have yet because I did not read the manual 
and I'm not even going to read the manual to answer your questions. I'm just answering your questions based on my experience and based on how I've been using it. So, uh, usually most of your clothes have that kind of thing. If you're really concerned about uh, you don't want to ruin your clothes in the machine, read read those uh, careers and then pick whatever program in the in the <laughs> in the least pick whatever program that works for you but for me when i wash my duvets i either use the mix or which doesn't wash like for long and the intensive based on if na feel e duvet ni chafu sana leo i go intensive or mix which is like wash and rinse and then go and hang i like the mix function because it's it takes the shortest time so if i want to do my laundry nani hang nani ende kwenye naenda i know that by the time na prepare or i uh, do whatever i need to do before i step out my laundry will be already done and ready for me to hang because most of the time i don't dry like every load of laundry in the dryer especially when the weather is good I just prefer to dry it out on the sun under the sun I mean because also when you dry in the machine ah, the clothes crease so much and I hate ironing if you don't mind ironing or if you are those people who iron all their clothes after they've done their laundry you, you will enjoy you will enjoy um, the, the drying option but I just that one aspect yanguo kutoka zikika ni kama zimetoka kukuluwa na ngombe i don't but obviously if it's very very cold outside and i don't want to deal with the stress of hanging and unhanging and then taking them back out when the sun is back out i will dry them in there and iron them how much electricity does it consume when you dry uh, like i've said i rarely dry my clothes in there but when i dry it's like maximum of four units it really doesn't consume much now is four units would you appear an account like my fridge is on at that time maybe my lights are on maybe i have showered i, I would say it doesn't consume that much but I don't have the specific numbers of how it consumes. I'm just, like I said, telling you from my experience. Thanks, I'm about to start a laundry business, so helpful. Please show a video for wash, spin, and dry also. That, that one, okay, what are they called, set, your, your functionality, um, that cycle called mix, uh, it it washes and rinses and spins when it's done like when you hear the can't remember the music it plays when it's done uh, when you hear that it means your clothes are ready to be removed and hung on the hanging line do i ever do a spin just spin mm, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah yeah i do i do and it's like 12 minutes only but that's when, that's when, like after I've done that mix and I want my clothes to dry in like 15 minutes, I do another spin. Uh, the dry takes so, so long. I don't think we can fit that in this video. It takes like three, five hours, four hours and a half. That, I, to be honest with you guys, I usually do that at night. <laughs> I usually when I dry my clothes in the dry in the, the machine, I dry them at night so that I just go to bed and forget or during the work day if I'm working from home because I know it will just do its thing and then maybe at lunch time I'll take my clothes out of the nini because it will be already done because it takes so long. It takes so long. Where did you buy the machine, please? I bought it directly from a distributor. Sorry, you need connections. So <laughs> I will talk to my friend Kama Anajiskia Kuwapea contact or if they are still willing to do that kind of deal. Because you know, most of the time they sell like that to like supermarkets or 
other retailers. Where did you get or buy the inlet extension? Oh, I bought, um, hmm. so my, I told you guys, my friend is the one who installed it for me. Like that whole setup is not thanks to me, it's thanks to him. And he's also the one who decided on what needed to be bought. Uh, so he has connections again in the CBD, but I think in the general area of River Road, there are shops that sell those things. So I think you would go with like photos of your inlet pipe that came with the machine or photos of the machine. They should be able to advise on what you should get or your plumber, uh, the person connecting it for you can advise you. Uh, because I honestly don't know the names of those things that were bought and they are the kinds of things that you're buying like only once you know I'm not installing machines every day so uh, my brain just did not retain that information but I I can ask my friend again to give us the contact of that person and I can put in the description box does the machine wash king size duvet I'm not very sure because it depends on like how many kgs is the duvet the machine has a maximum load capacity of 10 kgs for washing and 7 kgs for drying so if the duvet is not more than 10 kgs i think you should be able to wash it in there my duvets are all less than 10 kgs so i'm comfortably able to wash inside there to wash them in there how much was it i love it I do, I think I said how much it cost in the last video, that is part one, but I guess I will insert the price, because I can't, I honestly can't remember, but it is in the 70,000s. How can I change the timing? I feel the times in this machine are too long. Uh, sis, Ruth, Ruth. Because let me tell you, sis, like I said, uh, Kwanza drying, peer intensive if you choose to wash your clothes intensely, like kama sasa nilikuwa nimeenda out na demu ingine, haka nipaka matope this is not why we are here but sasa hiyo trau nikikirusha hapo lazima niyoshe na intensive and that takes so long that takes so long, just look for things to keep you busy while it's doing its thing because most kwanza the drying takes too long but uh if it's just a kawaida ninis you just do the mix yeah you do the mix for just day-to-day -day laundry but yeah i can understand how you would be frustrated with the yeah it takes so long it takes so long and i don't even know how to like cancel you can can you cancel you can pause but you can't cancel if you pause it won't open the door oh as in if it's too far along in the in the cycle nataka kujua how to set it for different clothes like jeans una set wapi duvet eh maybe si jua mi mwenyewe and i'm generally i'm not like uh, my clothes are not like high maintenance so i just throw them in there i don't even read the label just throw in there set to mix put the the detergent and go about my business <laughs> but maybe read the manual and know what to set it to what to set it to when you're washing different kind of things i don't know i'm sorry your machine in zuri i guess yeah i think i think yeah i think so mine shakes when spinning yeah it shakes it shakes well but i wouldn't say it's like that dramatic and also for me it doesn't shake too much if i'm not drying the clothes in there like the spin the spin shaking is not too dramatic also i think it depends on how how imesi mama make sure all the four feet so you know those to me to me goo that came that you you added ukochini when you unboxed and like assembled it those to me goo need to all be touching the ground uh that's i learned that from my friend shout out to this guy man 
<laughs> and yeah mine all the four feet zimeguza chini so the shaking is not as dramatic but when it's drying it tends to be a bit aggressive but even then it's not like that noisy to where my neighbors can't sleep or mm. so consider looking at your tumigu the 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 feet the, the, i don't know what they are called <laughs> hey who are you listening to by the way mine has child lock two days now how can i know eh so sami hapo siyezi kusaidia aki guy hata siku anajua iko na child lock there do you brand t-shirts no i don't brand t-shirts but i do have t-shirts that are retained our tagline over here ni kauga he consider buying one wa heri wewe 74k aki mimi nimenunua juzi na 84900 pasil sponsor our lady yeah you see i even showed you that i use pasil in the other video yes i'm still using the same pasil they should sponsor me by the way watching okay i think that's all Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was not too long and I hope it helped you and I will see you soon.